Hey guys, it's Phoenix, and today I'm starting episode 1 of Learn Command Blocks. And in this episode, we'll be going through how to use scoreboard objectives, and how to integrate them into command blocks. So, a scoreboard objective is a game mechanic in Minecraft that can be used to target certain players in the world, and also alter their score. And by altering their score, we can actually change the targets specified by command blocks. And let's jump right into it. So let's just give ourselves a command block using this command. So give at p command underscore block. And notice that in 1.8, you can no longer use numerical IDs to target blocks in Minecraft or items. You have to use the word. And to bring up all of these words, you can see if you move your mouse over the inventory in creative or survival, you can actually see the correct ID for that block. And to do that, you have to press F3 and H on your keyboard. And by holding them down, you can toggle this display. So if I hold down F3 and H now, F3 H, you can see that the display is gone. And you can press it again, and the names will come back up. This is very useful, and if you actually do that, it allows you to avoid having to research the words and you can see it just in your game. So to start off, to create a scoreboard objective, you use the command slash scoreboard objective add. And then you can type in any name. For this purpose, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'll use the word test. And you type the word dummy in. There are quite a few so this dummy here is actually the type of objective that you want to create. The word dummy means that it has no meaning in the game. Uh, it doesn't get triggered by any game event in Minecraft. Uh, it's basically any objective that you want to edit yourself, but isn't triggered by any event in the game. So we'll use dummy. And the last, uh, which is an optional uh, subcommand, is actually the display. So I'll just put a test for that. Uh, that's not actually uh, necessary to do that, but I'll just do that for the purpose of this video. And to display this uh, scoreboard objective, what you need to do is go slash scoreboard objectives set display. Uh, there are a few display uh, possibilities in Minecraft. Uh, I'll just use the word list, oh, sorry, sidebar for this video. Uh, and then test. Uh, you can see that there's actually no display currently because no one in this world actually has a score for that objective, but let's just do that right now. So scoreboard players set Phoenix Hamster test one. And you can see now I have a scoreboard objective uh, score of one for test. And you can toggle that score by simply using scoreboard player set uh, Phoenix Hamster test zero and now it's set to zero. So that's basically how you set up your objective. Uh, objectives are quite useful. Um, I'll go through as much as I can in this video. Uh, let's go through these targets uh, that you can use for command blocks. So at P is the one most commonly used. It will target the nearest player. So if I say hi, actually I'll just do tell. Tell at P, hi. And if I just grab this button and press it, it will say hi to me. So to basically change your score, all you need to do is go scoreboard players set. So it's setting a player score. So at P, the objective name, which is test, and then the number that you want. So I'll do that for one. And if I press this, you'll see that my score has changed to one. So what does this mean? Basically, by allowing players to have certain scores for objectives, you can basically change the targets that certain command blocks will have. So to do that, to integrate a scoreboard objective into a command block, all you need to do is go to this specifier here, place a square bracket, and type in the syntax score, and then underscore, then the objective name, so test, and then to have a maximum or minimum score of one, 
you can do the following. If you do not type in, or oh, let's actually do this first, if you type in underscore min equals one, this is targeting the nearest player with a test score minimum of one. So if I do this, currently my score is one. So if I press this button, actually let's change this to two. So if I press this button, it will find me. So the command block has found a player with a score minimum of one. Okay, so let's change this command block for a second. So let's change the command from scoreboard players set to scoreboard players add. And let's change this to one. So this command block is now adding a score minimum, uh, sorry, adding a score to this objective by a score of one. So if I have a score of two, it's going to add my score by one to change it to three. So if I keep pressing this command block, it's going to continuously add a score like that. And if I go remove, it will decrease like that. So it's changing from five, four, three, two, and then one. Now notice that my score is now one and this command block is targeting a player with a score minimum of one. So as soon as I go to zero, this command block will no longer find me because my score is no longer a minimum of one. So if I press this command block, it will no longer target me. And just like that, it will say that the entity UUID, this is a unique ID for the player. I'll go through this in a separate video as well. So the entity UUID is in an invalid format. So that basically means that the entity that it's trying to find is invalid. So it cannot find the player with a score of minimum of one. So to change this to maximum of one, all you need to do is get rid of the underscore min. By having, there's no such thing as underscore max, just saying. So underscore max is essentially just score underscore test. This means a maximum score of one. So now that I've changed it, this command block will now target me. So if I do that, so it's now minusing my score. And if I change this back to add, it's going to add my score. Like that. So that's basically uh, the scoreboard players add and scoreboard players remove commands. Um, you can change this to at A, which will target all players with a test minimum of one. And lastly, I'll just cover uh, the at E as well. So I can create an entity. Uh, so let's just summon uh, there we go. So if I add a scoreboard, I can actually set a score for that cat as well. So scoreboard players set zero one zero 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 test one. So if I place a button here, I now have a score for this entity. Uh, so if I go ahead and remove this and do at E, square bracket, and you can add a radius around this command block. So at R, uh, sorry, at E with a square bracket of R means maximum radius. R M means minimum radius. Uh, but for this video, we'll just use the maximum. R equals five. Um, so this will target any entity with a radius of five around the command block and set its score to three. So if I do that, it will target only the cat. It will not target anything else around the world. So uh, this could also work with players as well. So I'm already at three, so let's just make it one like that. So it will target any player um, with a radius of 5 around the command block. Uh, and one last thing I should also cover as well is you can combine radius with objectives as well. Um, so if I go r equals 5, comma, score, so going back to that, score underscore test underscore min equals 1. Let's make it 2 this time actually and let's make their score 100. So uh, this scoreboard is now setting a player who's the nearest player around the radius of 5 around the command block 
with a test minimum score of 2 and setting their score to 100. So my score will be now set to, whoops, my score is 1, so it won't find me. So if I go change that to 1, it will find me now because my score is now 1. So if I press this command block, it will now skip my, set my score to 100. So lastly, you can actually add a range for these scoreboard objectives. So if I go and add this back again, so scoreboard players uh, set at e. Actually, I think it'll be easier if I just add a separate command as well. So tell at p. So scoreboard, let's make a range between 1 and 5. So scoreboard score underscore test underscore min equals 1. Comma, so separate it with a comma. Score underscore test equals 5. So this will test for this will tell any player um, within the score of test between one and five. And actually, I think it's better if I add the radius at the beginning. So uh, r equals five, comma r m equals one. Uh, actually, let's make it three and close it with a square bracket. So with this I have set up a specifier. So at tell at p uh, anyone within a radius of 5 but with a minimum radius of 3 between from the command block uh, with a test score minimum of 1 and a maximum score for, test, uh, for the test objective as 5 and it will tell me the word hi. So looking at this my score is currently 2 so I will not be targeted, oh, actually I will be targeted by this command block. So if I do and I step outside three blocks, it will say hi to me. And if I step, step over here, it won't say hi because I'm too close to the command block because the minimum radius is three. So if I stand four blocks away from it, it will say hi to me. And if I stand, uh, still it's still four blocks. If I stand here, it won't say anything. Um, so if I set my score to, uh, let's say 10, just like that. Now my score is 10 and the command block will only tar uh, target only players within, uh, with a score between one and five. So it will not find me because my score is currently 10. So just like that, it will not find me. Whoops. <laughs> so, uh, that's basically it. Uh, these are the basic uh, applications for command blocks and scoreboard objectives and how to integrate them. Um, there are more complicated things, but as of now, uh, this is as far as I'll go. And the video is getting pretty long, so I should probably cut it now. So that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Whoops. Uh, <laughs> I need to kill you. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Whoops.